I'm an instructor, NRA certified instructor. I'm also certified with the Maryland State Police for instruction on the HQL. And I can also recertify somebody to get their wear and carry permit again when they have to, to uh, renew it. But for me to get it, it's a different story. But I can instruct you and recertify you to get yours. And that's pretty ironic in my eyes right there. Um, it seems that Maryland State Police issues based on money and who you are also. I'm sure there's probably some senators, delegates within these streets that have a wear and carry permit and they didn't have a bit of problems getting it either. And also based on money. If you have the money, the influence, you're probably going to get a permit also. I'd like to know why you put a higher value on money and goods versus the preservation of human life. And how does the state have the right to determine whether or not my family is good and substantial reason? A lot of this has already been hashed out, so I'm going to let go SB 100. Also, as far as uh, SB 136, I do support it. I know you sp sponsored the bill, Senator Brochin. Um, I was called by your office twice up in D District 1C to come down and test testify because I've testified here before. Um, once I informed, I guess as one of your staffers, that I'm also the chairman of the board of directors for MSI, that I'm well versed in all the gun bills and what's going on, she got very quiet pretty quick. And I said, I will be down to testify. I think it's a good bill. I hold no animosity because of your vote on SB 281, the Firearm Safety Act. And I hope you, that uh, Goodwill Olive Branch will extend to other 2A issues and that you would seek out 2A organizations to find answers if you don't have them on those questions that you may have. As far as, uh, oh, let's see, 326, um, favorable with amendments, SB 407, favorable with amendments, SB 454, favorable with the recommended amendments, uh, SB 530, favorable with amendments. Uh, let's see, what else did I miss here? I don't think I missed anything else in that. Um, also, once again, I'd like to, uh, on SB 100, the Peruta case, even the Ninth Circuit Court out in California, and they do tend to lean pretty far to the left, even the Ninth Circuit Court recognized the importance of wear and carry and being able to defend yourselves. I think it's high time Maryland come around to that issue too. Thank you very much.